Let's say you have a mailing list with plenty of email addresses, but you'd like to do a mail match to only a subset of your mailing list. Well, you can do this in a few steps using mail nature and what is called filters in Google Sheets. Let's do it together step by step. So I have a spreadsheet with a mailing list in it and a few recipients. Um, I have about 20 recipients in it. What I'm going to do first is to enable filters right in Google Sheets. So for that, you need to select all your spreadsheet. So there's different way of doing, uh, doing it. You can like select the first row and then um, Command A on a Mac or uh, Control A on a PC. What I prefer is to there's a little trick in Google Sheets. If you click on that row, so close to the A and the one in the very first row, if you click there, you're going to select all the spreadsheet. That's very powerful. So now if you click on data and create a filter, your spreadsheet will be filtered. Well, filters is going to be enabled, but the spreadsheet is not filtered yet. We're gonna filter the, the spreadsheet by company right now. So I'm going to uh, skip them all, remove them all, and focus only on the few companies starting with the A. Okay, so now you can see that my spreadsheet is, is filtered and there's only three rows, Michael, Isaac, and Yuri that are uh, shown. All the others are hidden. If I open MailMeter, I will be able to send an email to all these re recipients only those three recipients, not the others. I'm going to select the template and just look at the preview. As you can see, MailMeter is showing me the very first row, which is Michael. It's Michael. If I go to the next row, that's Isaac, and that's Isaac again. And that's Yuri for the last row. I can send email to all these three recipients in a few steps. And now I just need to click on send emails. What is really powerful with filters is it lets you follow up. If you send a previous campaign and you'd like to, to send another email to only people that have opened or clicked your email, you can do this in a few steps using MailMeter again. I'm going to um, select all company again. Um, in here, I had a, a row that I've um, hide, and I'm going to create a new feature um, Focus only on the emails that have been clicked or open. Let's put the filter on. And as you can see, there's a few people that have interacted with my email, my previous campaign. And I can send a follow-up email to those recipients only. Again, once the filter is enabled, open MailMeter. You select your template. Select the template, and then you can send emails right away or just look at the preview. And again, you will see that Jessica is the first row and will be the first recipient to receive an email from me. And if I go to the next one, it will be Nicola and then Emma. Once you're set with your uh, filters, well, you just need to click on send emails and the emails will be sent right away. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share, subscribe. For more tips around Gmail and MailMerge, um, and if there's anything that I've missed, just let me know in the comment. See you soon in our next tutorial.